Hello, and welcome to Oral Health 101. My friend Mr. Gramps and I will be your hosts. Perhaps you're wondering what qualifies two toothless gentlemen such as ourselves to educate others about oral health. Well, the answer is simple. I am what you might call a tooth enthusiast and passionate promoter of pearly whites. I want my own teeth more than anything in the whole wide world. And I miss my own teeth more than anything in the whole wide world. I found out the hard way how important it is to take care of your mouth. So now I spend my days educating others and drinking smoothies. Lots and lots of smoothies. Yum! Smoothies! I have nightmares about smoothies. All right, let's get started. Oral health and overall health go hand in hand. An unhealthy mouth can cause hypertension, heart attack, or even stroke. In fact, dentists can detect 125 signs and symptoms of non-dental diseases just by looking inside your mouth. It's a good thing you don't have teeth because what you just said was a mouthful. (laughs) The good news is we now know what causes dental disease. Bacteria. Most babies are born with healthy mouths. Aww, babies are so smoochable. (laughs) Those smooches lead to bacteria. Boo. Babies also love to put things in their mouths, which introduces more bacteria. Those bacteria stay with us our entire lives, trying to dominate our mouths and cause disease. How rude. The trick is not to feed the bacteria. Bacteria eat? They sure do. Bacteria eat sugar. Did you know even salty snacks like chips and crackers have loads of sugar? Get out of town. I hope that's water in your cup. What? Who? Parents should limit sweet drinks like apple juice and never put a child to bed with a bottle or sippy cup with anything but water in it. You don't say. Kids who suck on a bottle or sippy cup throughout the day are bathing their teeth in sugar. And that causes tooth decay. That's why if you do give a child juice, it's a good idea to mix it with water. Children who get cavities are 10 times more likely to get cavities as adults. Now you're making me sad. Don't be sad. You're learning. Knowledge is power. You're right. After today, I'll be a shining example of oral aptitude. That's code for a little guy who knows a lot about teeth. Did you know that oral health starts before you're even born? It does? Moms-to-be need to have healthy gums and be cavity-free. Why? If a mom's mouth is unhealthy, she can pass bacteria to her newborn. Gah, smoochability strikes again. One way moms can help their newborns grow strong teeth is to breastfeed for the first year. And as soon as that first tooth comes in, usually around the first birthday, it's time to start visiting the dentist. Yes! Is that when I get to start brushing? Your mom will brush your teeth until the day you're old enough to do it on your own. Also known as the best day ever. (laughs) Right. So, are you ready to wrap this up? Let's do it. There are four major rules to remember. Tell us, Mr. Gramps. Rule number one, don't smoke. Smoke is toxic. Your gums and teeth can't breathe when they're being suffocated by toxins. To be fair, smoking is a habit. Habits can be hard to break. Don't ask me how I know that. Rule number two, brush twice a day for two minutes. Or more, if you are a tooth enthusiast such as myself. Rule number three, see your dentist for a checkup and cleaning once or twice a year. And when you're there, Resist the urge to play with the buttons on the dentist chair, tempting as that might be. And finally, rule number four, avoid sweets and sugary or acidic drinks. Rest in peace, Tebby Cup. You are a loyal friend. If you notice your gums are red or bleeding when you brush, you may have the beginnings of gum disease. Following these rules can get your mouth back on track. Phew! And remember, it's never too late to start healthy habits. Thanks to fluoride in our water, teeth are better off today than they've ever been. And even if your teeth are far from perfect, there are some pretty amazing dentists who can work their magic to help you get healthy and smiling again. 